family it is tempest here again with another cash stuffing video this cash stuffing video is to go along with my first march paycheck and we will be cash stuffing a total of 612 dollars today on this channel i like to share all of my thoughts on finance motherhood and life related topics so if that's something that may interest you please consider subscribing and check out some more videos. Awesome, let's get into this cash stuffing for today. I'll go ahead and start by counting and setting up my space. I hope you guys are doing well. I feel like it's a long time since I posted. I was going, going to do a Saving Saturday video and I actually edited me going into Dollar General and shopping. The video was way too long. And I just didn't feel like editing it, honestly. <laughs> so we have 200 here. $20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60. So we have 460. 70, 80, 90, 10, and 20. Twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five, seventy, seventy five, eighty, eighty five, ninety, ninety five, six hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Perfect. Six hundred and twelve dollars that we will be cash stuffing today. So we normally begin with my cash envelope wallet. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Course refill is empty. I don't even have my budget book over here. Just a little out of whack. But in my budget by paycheck workbook, this is from the budget mom that I use for um, my budgeting and my cash breakdown. The cash breakdown is what I use to determine how much, well, what denominations I'll be putting in which envelopes. So you'll see that here. And most of the times I just try to do like the most simplest form. The only thing I'm really particular about is my food category. I like to normally keep that in fives and tens. And that's when I'm doing like 150. But if I do more than 150, I do throw some 20s in there. Um, but I normally try to do some tens and fives for the most part. Okay, and that is our first category, which is food. So we will be stuffing $200. 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. So that is going in our food. As you see, there's nothing to unstuff. And it's not because I spent all my money. I put most of my February money in uh, my savings challenge. So first off, if you haven't, please check out my website and look at my 2022 savings challenge ebook. Yeah, I'm saving a lot of money with it. So if you want to join the train, Come on, choo choo. <laughs> and we can save together. So LJ gets 20. And he also had no money, but I. Yeah, I think I used all his money. Yeah. I'm getting 25. And my giving envelope always gets five ones. 
One, two, three, four, five. So this month ended up being like a magic month, which in the budgeting community, that means you get more than, if you're paid bi-weekly, you get more than just the two paychecks a month. So I was able to cash stuff a little more than I usually was, than I'm usually able to because I know I'm getting paid two more times this month. So I normally budget $300 for rent each paycheck to equal my half, which is 600. So I have some traveling going on, going to visit my family and gas prices are so high. So I use that $300 instead of it going for rent to cash stuff to help with the travel expenses and gas and all of that. But I still have two more paychecks, so I'll still be able to save my half of the rent from the remainder of those this month. So magic months are just that. Magic. <laughs> Okay, so those are all of my regular spending envelopes. Here are my like travel with me sinking fund envelopes. Cause most of the time I use my, I keep my sinking fund envelopes at home, but these are the ones I like to keep on hand just in case spare in the moment. Um, date night is getting nothing. Miscellaneous is getting a five. There's currently nothing in here. And I can't remember if I put that towards my savings challenge or not. I don't know. Uh, household is getting 25. Gifts is getting 20. And there are some funds in here, not much. Um, so we have a total of 21, 2, 3, and 4. I actually saved $70 last time to go towards gifts, but I decided to save that money instead. And I explained to my sister, like, hey, I'm just really trying to focus on saving money for the wedding and everything. Because my sister and my dad's birthday is this month. So is one of my best friends and her son. Two of my best friends and one of their sons, actually. So yeah, it's a lot of birthdays. So because it's so jam packed and I normally save per paycheck instead of having like an active sinking fund that I contribute to every time and letting it grow, I kind of cash flow. Well, I do cash flow it. And this month it's just really hard to cash flow all those birthdays. So I said, I'm not doing no one's birthday, but my friend's son because he's turning two and he's little. And I want LJ to be able to give to him. But like having five birthdays in a month, that that was getting really pricey. And I'm a giving person. So I would give my last to see someone smile, to see someone be happy. But I had to set that boundary for myself. It's not that I won't ever get them gifts, but I'm just not able to do it right now. We're trying to pay for this wedding and time is approaching where all these funds are due, honey. So I had to make a tough call. And of course, they're my family and my best friends. So they're like, oh, girl, you're fine. I don't care. I just want to see you. Like, you know, so I know they're not upset about it, but that's how I show my love. And it was hard for me to say no, but it's important to set money boundaries for yourself. So that's what I decided to do. So most of that $70 actually went into my savings challenge. So you'll you'll see it in my savings challenge video. I'll show you. So we have 24 in gifts. Okay. Do I know how to use an envelope? Okay, there we go. Those are my pink. Actually, we have one more, which is my emergency fund envelope. So if you're new to my channel, my emergency fund envelope is separate from my high yield savings account emergency fund. This is to have cash. If anything were to happen, I can't get my money out of the bank or I can't use my um, debit card or anything like that. I would like to have a set amount in cash. 
So my goal for my cash emergency fund is $500. So let's see where we are. I normally just budget $5 or so, but if I have extra funds, excuse me, like a bonus from work or something, then I'll put extra when I can. But I just do five for now. So let's see where we are. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 155. Awesome. Okay, so that is everything from my wallet. My wallet is also from the Budget Mom. This is her Folofax wallet. I love it, but I'm ready for a new look. But I'm not trying to spend no extra money. Like, that's my issue. Like, I want to do these nice things for myself because I've been on hustle and grind and save for so long. Like, I don't ever really do a whole lot for myself, you know, as far as, like, spending money-wise that I really want to. But after this wedding, like... I'm just ready to be married to the love of my life. One, so all this money could be freed up. <laughs> I meant one, because I love him. Two, so all this money could be freed up. <laughs> and put to other purposes, like paying off debt, treating myself. Like, yo, we've been engaged two years, and we've been saving, 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 saving for this dream wedding. And I am so excited for it. But I'm really ready for it to be over with, okay? Come on, October. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so to go to my sinking funds binder, we have ties, which is number one in my binder. Oh, guys, look at it. I actually put vinyl on my envelopes, finally. So as you see, some of them do not have uh, the cardstock. <laughs> so I still have some work to do. But it only took me like, what, a whole year, <laughs> it seems like, to finally do this for myself. Because I was busting out orders a while ago. And when it came to my own envelopes, I was just really slacking. Check out my original videos. <laughs> okay, shout out to the OGs when I had like pieces of paper in there. Okay, we have come a long way. But Ties gets $200. And Ties is just 10% that I give back to God and I give back to him through either donating, giving to someone in need, or giving to a church. So I don't ever count this money, but 10% um, of my income, well, not my gross income, my net income um, is $200. So I put that in there. Z5B gets 20 these are my sorority dues. I am a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. So every year we have to pay dues. And I also okay, do not count this money. Finer Woman is what a member of Zeta Phi Beta is. And this is just for me to get any fun things or any events that I might have that deal with my sorority. If I want to get paraphernalia, which is just like a sorority branded clothing or goodies, anything like that. But I'm not contributing to it. Babe's birthday gets 20. My goal for this is 250. And like I said, I'm a giving person and I like to go all out for birthdays. He's not a birthday type of person, so I wanted to you know, save all this money, get him some really nice things, and, I don't know, do something special for him. And he's like, I want money for a tattoo. And I'm like, but that's not what I want to use my money for. He's like, it's my birthday. And then I had to reel it back in, like, oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> so my goal is just to save $250. So he'll use it towards his tattoo. If not, pay for the whole thing. I don't even know what he wants to get. So, yeah. Oh, I do know what he wants to get. I think 250 should be good. Yeah. So let me count this. 
20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 135, and his birthday is in May, um, so I have a little bit of time to get there. We'll see. I probably need to make sure I'm saving enough for the time frame I have. So I'll double check on that. Um, if not, I'll probably go up to like 25. Um, babe is just, if I want to get him anything like random, any little special things I see just to show my love, because that's how I show love. Um, gifts and giving. That's what that's for, but it's not getting stuff. Anniversary. Our dating anniversary is in January, so that's already passed. And I'm not contributing because, honey, all our money going to this wedding. Valentine's, nope. Savings challenge, you see. I don't know if you can see, but it got money in it, y'all. I'm so excited. I did so good in February. Okay. That's for another video. Bath and Body Works, y'all. I love Bath and Body Works. It makes your house smell so good. And it doesn't help that my sister works for them. So she tells me, like, when all the stuff coming out, like, girl, this smell good. Get this. Like, oh, we got a sale going on. You better. Yeah. So I created an envelope for it. <laughs> Clothes, getting nothing. Tech, nothing. Family goals gets $8. And my goal for this, I think it's two something by the end of the year. And this is for, well, I put family goals because I know our goals would change over time. But this year, we're trying to get our will together, our estate planning. And we're trying to wait till after we're married. So, you know, legally, we could do it as a couple and stuff like that. So I have a while to save for it. But I'm just saving little by little. I think the total cost is for something, but we'll probably split that down the middle. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, 2, 3, 4, 44. I have 44 so far and that is wonderful I started in January only by saving like nine or eight dollars every time so how awesome is that so IRA I once again forgot to go to the bank to withdraw the 20 for my IRA because that is at a separate bank so 20 is supposed to go in here but I'm not going to stuff it right now Let's see how much we have. My goal is a thousand before I deposit into my actual IRA to invest it. I have funds in it already, um, but I'm trying to wait till I get a thousand dollars because there's a fee every time you go to deposit and invest into your IRA. And she said to make it worthwhile, might as well do like a thousand or more dollars. So that's what I'm waiting for. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. So it'll be 180 once I put the $20 in here. So those are my regular sinking funds. You are my sunshine. This is for my sunshine. And... Is he getting anything in here? Actually, he is not. Oh, okay. I know what I'm missing. So, in order to meet my goal for my savings challenge, I needed $59. So, that's what this is for. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 20, 40, 50, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not going to count it because stay tuned for my savings challenge video. 
where you would see how much I saved in the month of February. So exciting. And this money, I've been debating on if I'm going to tell you guys, but I'm just going to be honest because honesty is the best policy. So if you notice, I have a fiance, but my ring is gone because I misplaced it. But it is somewhere in my house. I know it is. Like, where else would it be? It's a long story, but it's somewhere in this house. I just have to figure it out. So until then, I will be paying <laughs> for my ring since I misplaced it. I didn't, you know, the L word. I'm not going to say that. I did not do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I did not. But I think it's only fair that I paid for it since I misplaced it. So, the sooner I find it, the sooner I don't have to pay, okay? <laughs> but um, this is what that money be going towards because you'll see in my budget with temp video, I'll put it up here somewhere so you can view that. But you'll see that it's causing my budget to change and I have to accommodate for that. So, I wasn't really expecting to misplace it. So, my savings challenge money will go towards that. Um, usually, my savings challenge money will go in my wedding binder. If you're new to my channel, that's what I was doing last year is putting money in my wedding binder, which I would really love to do. So, I need to find that ring ASAP, okay? So, I could stuff these wedding envelopes because they need it october is coming so 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 fast yeah but we're gonna be okay we're gonna make it work um so that is the conclusion of my march 1st cash stuffing thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below as well as follow me over on Instagram at temps.thoughts and check out my website at tempthoughts.com. Until next time, thank you family. Bye.